We are not building cars, but we are going to be building something to protect our cars. Welcome to part two of building a carport. Jim and I are going to finish the carport today, both finishing the entire top structure and securing it to the ground. Some people were triggered last time because I left it how it is for a few days and no, it did not blow away. So we are, we are good there. There's nothing on it to really catch wind and blow away. So we knew we'd be good for a couple days and we were waiting for some good weather to finish this installation. Now some other comments that I got from the last video are, why are you building more places to store cars? There's not a lot of space surprisingly at the compound between Drift HQ, Adam's cars, some of my cars, people we're working with for storage, this space got filled up real fast and I need to protect my cars because most of them get left out in the hot Florida sun. It's gross now with bugs and pollen, so this is much needed. And in fact, after we install this one, we'll probably be making more. <laughs> right, when, <laughs> right when I said that, I saw the look on your face. Here we go, this is part two. We're gonna finish this thing today. So now our top frame on each side is secure and I will show you all of the bolts that I was tightening and where I was putting them. Along every side, there's all of these bolts. Let me see if you can see them. All of these, boom, boom, all along each side. So, it took me a while to make my way all around, but they are fully secure. So far, so good, just gonna keep Plugging away. I noticed I did not tighten this one. So now we're gonna go from the side to the top and then hopefully roof. I'm just not looking ahead on the steps. I'm just step by step, just going along for the ride. All right, change of plan. So there's really not much more that needs to be assembled before it goes onto our structure here. And we realize that what's taking the most time is just getting off the ladder, moving the ladder a little bit further down, resetting and all of that. So Jim. Went and got the scissor lift. The question does is, fit? does it fit? Hmm. We believe. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. This is going to save so much time. Definitely not necessary, but this will help speed the last part of this process up.
feel like we're on the home stretch. Now we're doing all of the additional cross bracing. And then I think it's roof time. Definitely like the scissor lift, it's helping out a lot and just move around faster. structure is complete we basically build a house no big deal it's roof time it's actually roof time <gasps> oh awesome my mom's been here hope not too how do you feel you, you built a house I feel accomplished thank you you should <laughs> next day in traditional Florida fashion. A storm was coming in so we took a break yesterday but we did get our center part of our roof completed. We got the center of both the panels put in there. It's essentially being sandwiched on this side, sandwiched at the top and then you put another piece to secure the top on it. So we got that far and you go from the center and then you do the outside pieces. So today we're going to finish installing the roof and then we will be done and I can test this out. It's already looking so good. Jim is bringing our scissor lift over here. That was pretty rad. I've never used one before and now I want to find an excuse to use that thing for everything. So he's bringing that over here so we can go a lot faster moving around since I have to be super high. What are you doing? Checking out the view. Inspecting the top of the roof, make sure we did it right. <laughs> okay, at first I thought these were really cool and now it just looks really scary. I will never go that high in a scissor lift. Oh my god, stop! No! Come down! Jim, get down! What are you doing? This is all the supplies that we have left. So we have our roof panels, we have a few more brackets, washers, and bolts, and then the pieces right here are what goes after we put the roof on that secures everything even more on the very top. So if you guys saw part one, you saw how many materials we started out with, and now we only have this stuff left, which is pretty freaking cool. Again, I never would have thought to take on a project like this, but it's really not a big deal. It's, it's just following instructions and honestly building it yourself, you realize how many brackets are here and there and how much bracing is everywhere. So it feels even more secure because you know, it's built in a legit way. So I'm excited to finish this thing up. We are really close. Also stoked to use this fourth lift again. So. Let's get into it.
and off storming like every 10 minutes on, off, on, off. So Jim and I have just been like waiting for breaks and running out there and doing it. So I have not sacrificed my camera and I haven't been filming some of the last bits of putting on our roof, but our roof is completely on. And now we're just putting on the top pieces to secure the roof from the top. And then there's also metal brackets that you put on the roof going down to secure it as well. middle there are the extra brackets sort of that go on top and completely seal up and hold down the room look at it y'all we basically built a house not gonna lie <laughs> so now i am just gonna finish installing the rest of the side pieces so let me see if i can see one boom on this side i already put one there you'll see it's just a metal kind of railing that goes from here all the way to the top. That is just extra secure points for the roof so it can't fly off. I got a few more to put on this side and then a few for the other side. And then we are done with the structure and only have to worry about anchoring. We're trying to push through. It's typical Florida weather, but this is exactly why we need a carport. finished now fully supported all around but we're not done yet we have to anchor this thing yes we are anchoring every single post we're gonna be drilling into the concrete putting anchors on all the feet and then we should be good to go oh, the worst noise ever oh awful so bad <laughs> for this carport you just lift these up and it'll hide all of the anchors and we're gonna be drilling in to each foot, and it has four places on each one. First anchor in to secure it. Oh. Ta-da. Now we gotta do this many, many more times. We built a car house. We built a car house. With that our bare real, hands. Real, real house. We'll be good. Real house is the real next house. thing we built. <laughs> we did it even with the setbacks today. We just decided that we were going to work through the storm and not let this get delayed again because of traditional Florida weather. And now I have a brand new home for my cars. We think if we get crafty, I could probably fit two cars in here. What do you think? So. Maybe, maybe. And if you guys end up getting this one, if you're able to drive in from the other side, you can definitely get two cars in here. You could probably get about like five 
K cars. Six K trucks in here. Six K trucks, and if you have a way to drive through it this way, you could definitely have two. I think we could maybe fit two cars long ways too. It just would be really, really close. So at least now I have more options for covered car storage on the compound. I got a lot of comments, like I said, mentioning like, oh, you guys have already run out of space. The answer is yes. There is very little space that is not currently occupied here at the compound. And very often all my cars just get left outside and we're dipping into Florida summer. The Florida sun is no joke. I'm trying to keep my cars as nice as possible. We got it done. Good job, Jim. Good job, Colette. We'll build a house next, next video. Jim and I build tiny home. Now Dan, if you guys want a carport like this, Sunjoy actually offers two different sizes. This is their bigger size that is 20 by 14. I wanted to go with a bigger size and the 20 by 14 has this like brown black aesthetic to it. And I think it kind of matches the compound vibes more. They have another one that's a little bit smaller. It's 12 by 20. So depending on the space you guys have or what size you're looking for, those are the two options that they have for the carport. And the 12 by 21, instead of it being brown and black, it is gray and black so make sure you guys check them out if you guys want to build your own carport my links will be in the description below so that you guys can get a big discount as well shout out and thank you to sunjoy for opening my eyes to the world of building your own carports like i said i never would have imagined that it was this easy to do it and that it was something that you can do yourself jim and i did it so you guys can too that is it for this video and i will see you guys in the next one